Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Now this second day of February, Candlemas Day in the year 2015, in the 129th Annual Trek of the Inner Circle of the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club, Gobbler's Knob, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, United States of America, Punxsutawney Phil, seer of seers, prognosticator of all prognosticators, was awakened from his burrow at 725 or around then. By his handlers, John Griffiths and Ron Plowchett, and by the cheers of his thousands of steadfast, grateful, faithful followers. Phil waved to his fans, gazed at the sky and round his stump, and with the help of the inner circle and their large, rain-filled crowd, looked for a shadow. Majestically speaking in Groundhog East, he directed President Bill Daly to the precise goal, which reads, Forecast abound on the internet. I punch you still and still your best. Yes, a shadow I see. You can start the Twitter. Hashtag six more weeks of winter. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Monday, February 2nd, 2015, and it's Groundhog's Day. I'm Maddie. I'm Trent. As you just saw just minutes ago in Punxsutawney, Phil saw his shadow, which means that there will be six more weeks of winter. So keep the shovels handy and hopefully we'll have a few more delays. Birthdays for today are Natalie DiPaolo, Connor Forty, Cassie Siebeck, Riley Watt, and Ms. O'Connor. And over the weekend, McKenna Dugan, Ryan Sherma, Nicole Schismar, Madeline Lee, and Mr. McCracken. Cat projects for this week are Tuesday, February 3rd is the Celian Heights meet in the nurse's office after school. Wednesday, February 4th, it's the Crafty Shack at Harrison's Park School, start time 3.15. Thursday, February 5th, it's the Crafty Shack at Harrison Park School, start time 3.15. McCullough Elementary School Science Fair, set up 3 to 4.30 p.m. And Friday, February 6th, is Harrison Park Science Fair, start time 4 p.m. Saturday, February 7th, is Pet Friends, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the second Sunday, supper, start time 1.30 p.m. Harrison Park Elementary is looking for volunteers for the Science Fair this Friday, February 6th. Volunteers are also needed at Harrison Park for an after, sc after school on Wednesday and Thursday to help with an art project sponsored by the Crafty Shack. See the nurse if you are interested. Our annual food drive begins today and runs through Monday, March 16th. The food we collect is distributed to our students and our residents of Penn Township, Trafford, and Level Green. The food goes to St. Barbara Food Bank, the Community United Methodist Church Food Bank, and Trafford Level Green Food Banks. These organizations do not receive any federal funding or subsidies, but do supply over 200 of our families on a monthly basis. Now, let's take a short break. Attention juniors and seniors, on Monday, February 9th, during third period, a representative from WCCC will be in to meet with interested students. Please sign up in the guidance office before the day of the visit. We would like to recognize the winner of the PT's Got Talent show. The winner was Alexi Val Valenti Valenta, a grade 9 student. Her vocal talent was amazing and it made for a great show. We would like to thank all the students who participated, as well as Mrs. Alba for performing. Great job to everyone. The yearbook is in need of new staff members for the 2015-2016 school year. If you have an interest in photography, business management, business management, sports writing, or digital design, see Ms. Yaklage in room D temp to pick up an application. The deadline to apply is Friday, February 6th. Attention all art club members. There are only 14 slots available for the upcoming workshops and field trip to the Andy Warhol Museum. Please return your signed field trip permission slip to Ms. Crystal Light by Friday, February 6th. First come, first go. Please help the art club make a beautiful, environmentally friendly mural by placing your plastic bottle caps in the new bottle cap container in the cafeteria. Friends don't let friends throw bottle caps in the garbage. The Spanish Club will be selling red carnations for Valentine's Day. Flowers are $2 each. 
and will be, get, will be sold in the cafeteria during all lunches from Monday, February 2nd through February 9th. Flowers will be delivered to homerooms on Friday, February 13th. Ninth grade girls volleyball tryouts are after school this week at Penn Middle School. Players should get the bus outside of the gym lobby after school. Attention anyone interested in joining the high school track and field team this spring. Sign-ups will be in the back of the cafeteria during all lunch periods. In sports, the county swim tournament over the, at the county swim to tournament over the weekend, the PT boys placed second overall and the girls placed fourth. Congratulations. Last night was Super Bowl 49. Let's pick up the highlights in the fourth quarter. Down by 10 with eight minutes to go, Tom Brady and the Patriots start the comeback. Brady hits Danny Amalata to cut the, to the end to three. Then with two minutes left to go, Brady finds Julian Edelman for six and the Patriots are up by four. But here comes the Seahawks with just over a minute to go. Russell Wilson connects with Jer Jeremiah Kears with one of the most amazing catches in Super Bowl history. Let's see that again. What a catch. And I still hit my pinky toe on furniture. That's pretty awesome. All right. That's, oh, see it again. That sets up beast mode. Marshall Lynch, who falls just short of the goal line. They give it to him once more, one more time with 26 seconds left, and Wilson gets picked off, sealing the victory for the Brady and the Pats. for today it will be snowy today with highs in the upper 30s and 40 percent chance of snow around noon and the lunch menu for today is chicken parmesan on a bun with baked tater tots and corn thanks for watching makeup warriors please send a post to the flag i'm maddie and i'm trying have a lovely day pen trafford i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america